Vanilla Tweaks, a set of data packs or resource packs that will allow you to change different things in Minecraft. Um, we're going to be focusing first on the data packs here and the crafting tweaks. Those are also data packs. And then towards the end of the video, we'll do the resource packs because I feel those are more uh, commonly understood as to how to install versus data packs. Now, if you've not downloaded Vanilla Tweaks yet, the link to the official Vanilla Tweaks download page is in the description down below. It will take you here. We can choose whether you want data packs, crafting tweaks, or resource packs. Like I said, we're going to start with data packs. We're going to go ahead and select that here. There's tons of these. I'm going to grab two. I'm going to grab Graves and then I'm going to grab Anti-Creeper Grief, but the installation process for all of these is the same, right? So keep that in mind. You can also select the different versions up here at the top. Once you've selected your versions, go ahead and click download and you have to sit through an ad. While this ad's going on, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server where you can easily add mods, plugins, data packs like vanilla tweaks, and customize your server any way that you want. You even have one-click installation of hundreds of mod packs. Plus, if you have any issues with your server along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Host and get the first link in the description down below. Break down to XYZ slash SGH to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Never likes our uh, data packs I've now downloaded. As soon as the ad was done, it immediately closed and the download began here. Now, if we go back to the homepage of Vanilla Tweaks, there's also crafting tweaks here, and these are also data packs. They're installed the exact same way as the Vanilla Tweaks data packs found here. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a simple one here, which is more trapdoors. Same process, select it, click download, and the download will begin after a few seconds. There we go. It's going to automatically download, and now all of our data packs are downloaded. We need to move these to our desktop just because we need to make sure that the files are correct. So if we do that here, we can see we have two files. We have one just called Vanilla Tweaks and one that says Unzip Me. Now, if we open up these, we'll be able to see one has data, pack.mc meta. That's what we want to see. So as long as you see one of these two files or folders, you're good to go. But if we open up the other one that says Unzip Me, that's not the case. That's because we downloaded multiple data packs. So in this case, we want to right click and we want to extract all and then click extract and it's going to give us a folder. When you open that up, you'll have these two basically data packs that we downloaded and we can move those to our desktop and delete everything but those data packs. Now, if we check all of these, we'll see that all of them have this data in pack.mc meta. Anti creeper grief, same thing. And then graves also has data in pack.mc meta as well as another folder. Like I said, it's not going to always be the same. So if you have some of these, you're good. Now we want to install these in game. How do we do that? Well, we want to open up Minecraft and I've already done that here. I've already got it open in the background. You can go ahead and pause the video while you open it if you need to. And then from here on the main menu, you want to click on single player and find the world that you want to use. I have one here. It's called Vanilla Tweaks. I made it before this video just to make things easier, but you can add this to any existing Minecraft world you have and then go ahead and click edit on that world. Then click on the open world folder button. So again, from the single player menu, click on the world, click edit, and then click open world folder. Then you'll have a data packs folder here. Open that up and drag and drop any data packs you want to add right into this data packs folder. Now, if we go back in game, we can go ahead and save this and launch into that world. Now, once we're in this world, the data packs will be active, except sometimes you might have to use the slash reload command. Unfortunately, if you don't have cheats, it won't work. You won't be able to reload. So we want to go ahead and hit escape, click open to land and make sure we allow cheats there. When you do that, you'll be able to use the slash reload command and any of the data packs will now be active. How can we test this? Well, it's, it's a little morbid to test the uh, graves data pack, but before we do that, let's go ahead and first test the creeper one because that one's a bit easier because uh, if it's working, these creepers will not kill me when they explode. Let's go ahead and try that. Go into survival really fast and they'll try to explode, but none of them will do any damage because we have anti-creeper grief turned on. That means things are working as they should there. However, what can we do to uh, test the gravestones? Well, we just need to fly up and well, basically die. So let's go ahead and do that really fast. Up in the air we are and as soon as we go into survival, we will fall down and because we have stuff in our inventory, a gravestone spawns. Awesome. Now, there's also the trap door or more trap doors mod. So let me go ahead and test that one. And as we can see here, this is going to give us 12 trap doors, which is way more than vanilla, proving that is working. But what if you want to use the resource packs with vanilla tweaks? Well, let's go ahead and do that. We want to download some vanilla tweaks resource packs by clicking on resource packs here. There is tons of them. We're going to go ahead and go with some that are pretty easy to test, which is going to be the solid slime. Brown leather is also pretty easy to test and fancy or fences actually sounds pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and select that. Same thing as the data packs. When you click download, you're going to have to wait seven seconds. Then the download will begin automatically. And we want to go ahead and find that download because just like the data packs, we need to make sure it's correct. So if we drag and drop this here, we can open it up and we will be able to see that it is correct. It actually combines all of those together into one resource pack. How cool is that? We 
we can see that here. These are the ones that we selected. Awesome stuff. So now what we want to do is go into from the Minecraft main menu, options, resource packs, and we want to open the pack folder. Then we want to drag and drop vanilla tweaks into this resource packs folder and it pops in game back here. We can click the arrow to activate it and move it over successfully. And now the vanilla tweaks resource pack is installed and we can jump back in game here and see that by checking a few blocks. Obviously, leather will now be changed. That one's really easy to test. Brown leather. That looks like brown leather to me. Looking good. Slime blocks will also be non-transparent. So if we place those down, yep, that is correct. And was there one more we got? Yes, fences. And uh, I must say those are also a bit more fencier. Awesome. So that's how you can install vanilla tweaks, both the data packs as well as the resource packs in Minecraft. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below, and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.